A gift for you. You do? What is it? Open it. All right. A scarf. How lovely. That will keep me warm all winter. And even a Christmas stocking. It's big enough to make a cozy sleeping bag. Thank you, girls. Oh, but uh. What's wrong? I don't have anything for you. Never mind, Mystery Mouse. Wouldn't you like some cheese? I think I still have some somewhere here. No, thank you. But you could tell us a Christmas story if you like. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. I'm sure you already know the story of the first Christmas, don't you? Jesus was born in a stable. To save us from our sins. Very good. I'll just have to think of another story then. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh! I know. Come up with me to the organ. Is the story about an organ? Well, yes. About a broken organ, to be precise. Did you hear the song I was humming when you arrived? Was it Silent Night? Yes, it was. I wonder who invented it. Oh, it was a man called Joseph Moore. Did he make the melody? No, he just wrote the words. Who made the melody? It was someone called Franz Gruber. These men were Austrian, and so they spoke German. And actually, Silent Night was really called Stille Nacht. So, do you know how Silent Night was written? Can you tell us? Of course. There was a pastor whose name you already heard. He was called Joseph Moore, and he lived in Austria in the eighteen hundreds. He was supposed to hold a Christmas service on Christmas Eve in eighteen eighteen, and it was supposed to be in the church in Oberndorf. But there was a little problem. The organ in his church was broken. How did it break? Well, um, uh, the, there are a couple of different stories about that. I heard that might have been some mice. Is that true? Mm, not necessarily. Some have said so, but well, it might have also been because of another reason. For instance, because of a flood. I'm sure it was the flood. Me too. <laughs> But what did Joseph Moore then do? Well, he had an idea, a very good one. He dug out a Christmas poem that he had written some years earlier and took it to someone called Franz Gruber. This man, Franz Gruber, was a schoolmaster and an organist. And then he asked Mr. Gruber to make a melody for the words. Did they sing it without an instrument then? No, they used a guitar to accompany the singing, and that's how we got Silent Night. It was a bit like an emergency Christmas carol. You're right, and so many people liked it when they heard it that soon the Christmas carol spread literally all over the world. Can you guess how many languages people can sing it in now? Uh, a hundred and twenty. Not exactly. Two thousand and two hundred? Not quite, but around three hundred different languages. Can you imagine? Wow. wow! Speaking of which, would you girls like to sing it to me? Okay. All right. Silent night. 
night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Grand young virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Let's leave quietly. Merry Christmas, Mystery Mouse.